Bloomberg's Betty Lou spoke with Prime Minister Papandreou just a short time ago at the New York Stock Exchange about the health of the Greek economy. Betty asked him why the markets aren't convinced that Greece is doing what it needs to get back on track. I think it's credibility on the one hand, uh, but I think we're building that. But I think there's another thing that, yes, the markets are risk averse right now around the world. Uh, there is a, a difficult situation. They're not really sure if we're really moving out of recession as quickly as we should, whether there might be a double dip. These are things that are on the minds of, think of the markets. Or, or, or even perhaps a prolonged recession in Greece. Do you think that's a, that's a picture that's likely? Well, we know we know that we were, we were as far as Greece is concerned. I mean, there's, there's an international situation. We know that, uh, uh, and I think that there's some new optimism. But I don't want to be a predictor of what may happen in the world. Uh, uh, but obviously, this is something which is on the minds of investors uh, worldwide. As far as recession is concerned in Greece, yes, we do have recession. It's negative four percent in Greece. But that was in the that was in the plan. We knew that that was part of this. We knew that these measures, would, in fact, would be bringing us four percent uh, minus this year. But it's uh, created, the structural changes have created a, a, a positive shock, if you like. A lot of pain, yes, for all of us, but a positive shock for the economy, a supply, uh, supply shock, if you like, which we believe uh, next year will show uh, the beginning of a more dynamic, competitive economy. You mean so that you might come out of recession That's next right. year? That's right. I think by the end of 2011, is according to the program, if everything goes well, we'll be seeing growth. Nur Rubini, who I'm sure you're familiar with his work, says that Greece is basically insolvent. Why is he wrong? It's very difficult to uh, to counter, counterdict uh, a prophet, if you like. But um, uh, but you know, when we we the, the difference is we know we know where we were, we know where we are, and you know we, we know what we're we're going to do, uh, and we're doing but, it. But do you but do but do you dispute his statement that Greece is insolvent? We're not going to default, and uh, we have done everything we have done, not only us, not only Greece, but the European Union itself and the IMF, of course, have basically given us a vote of confidence, and we ourselves are following the targets, and we're doing it, in fact, not to default. If we were going to default, it would have happened. We would have decided that many months ago. We've decided not to do that for a number of reasons. We think it would be wrong for the Greek economy. It would be wrong for the European economy. We would make things worse in the end. Uh, that's why we're taking the pain to make these structural reforms, and we're on target. Now, why are you so against restructuring your debt, to your debt, because I know you've been quoted before as saying it would be a tragedy for Greece, and yet people like Rubini and others say that's inevitable. You are going to have to restructure your debt. Why are you so against it? Well, default would be a tragedy, and uh, it would be first of all because we would not gain, as you said earlier, the confidence of markets, maybe for many years. Uh, obviously, it would be a, a, a difficult problem for not only the Greek banks but for European banks. It could have a contagion effect in the European Union. And in the end, it would also be creating uh, uh, much more pain for the people in Greece. So for all these reasons, we have decided to have a very difficult program. It's one of the most difficult programs, I think, that uh, any country has followed. But we're, we're doing it. We're making it. We're on target. And that's what that which gives, gives not only me, but the Greek people confidence that we can do it. But some would say that the contagion effect is already in place, um, whether or not you, you default or not. Um, and some would say that the benefits of restructuring or of default is that you're able that to then put in place the real measures that you would need to, that are unpopular with voters, but the real measures to get Greece back on track. Why don't you entertain even that idea? I mean, you know, there's a valid point there that it could help you for, be forced to make those difficult decisions. First of all, we did contain contagion. Uh, there was a point where we were seeing this problem creating problems in the whole Eurozone and then, of course, in the international financial world, the world economy. We contain that with this very strong, if you like, package and intervention. Secondly, we're making real changes. We're making the most painful changes. We don't need, we don't need, anybody, we don't need uh, a default to, to convince anyone that we're going to make these changes. All right, that was Bloomberg's Betty Lou with Greek Prime Minister George Papandreou on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Just